Okay, so we've seen how Footsuk Run GPA Firewall can protect your APIs um, and your microservices. And now let's see what kind of reporting you get back. So uh, one thing that I want to show first is how you can troubleshoot and, and see the specific transactions that get blocked. Because sometimes you can have uh, legitimate users uh, and maybe your partners, your other teams who might have been using your APIs incorrectly uh, and might have started uh, relying on some sort of hacks of your APIs and, and using your APIs in a way that you wouldn't expect. And so they might actually call you and complain that something that used to work no longer works. So all you need to do is ask them for that transaction ID. And so they can uh, copy that ID um, and then send it to you. And you can easily just go within the Fortitude Crunch console uh, or maybe your own uh, log management solution like Splunk or Elasticsearch or whatever and uh, see based on that ID, uh, find that specific transaction and see what specifically uh, what's wrong with it. Right, so you, you would uh, see the actual, like what exactly happened, what exactly failed and, and why. And you would get uh, detailed information, both the re uh, request, what was coming in, and then if response was blocked, then what, what happened to the response. So, so you can see these are actually all the, all the calls that we've been making. For example, remember we sent something that was below the minimum value. So again, you can see that for this particular API, uh, minus 50 was expected as the minimum value and we sent minus 100. Same thing where we sent, a, remember the email address that was wrong and, and so on and so on, content type and etc. Et et so basically you get them all and you can troubleshoot the issues. Um, there's a setting uh, to run the firewall in non-blocking mode and that's something that you can use when you don't yet want to enable the protection but you want to start I get in reports on all the calls that are outside of the contract. So maybe if you are not comfortable yet to actually start enforcing the protection and you want to just uh, figure out who is using your APIs uh, incorrectly outside of the contract, you can run it in non-blocking mode and, and, and see, um, see all those calls before you enable the protection. Uh, again, you see all the instances, you can get some overall reporting on how your API is being used um, generate more tokens, uh, look at the transaction log. So that's uh, how you can protect your APIs in uh, runtime, protect your public APIs, protect uh, your microservices and internal APIs, and have all of that in, in control um, and uh, get information about how your APIs are being protected, how they're being used.